So I just started uh, messing around with the 59 Li here. It has a 20 over piston in it. I started draining the oil and I got mostly mostly water out of it. You guys can see now we're down to the uh, water oil gray matter. Hopefully you guys can make out the color of that. Uh, it's hard to tell. There you go, for sure. So I'm gonna let that drain out. I'm gonna pull the mag off. Cause the mag's not even it's not even snapping right. I don't know what's going on there. I think the impulse is slipping on it. Something. I don't know. It's just strange, so gonna get that done. Oh man, is that what is a high low shifter stiff on this? So anyhow, going to do that. I got a little bit of uh, oil down the cylinder there just to get things lubed up after I clean the top of the piston off and everything. Uh, I guess throw some oil in it. Ah, that's what I should have got while I was at Tractor Supply the other day. I knew I forgot something. More oil. I have There's oil in a bucket yet, but not a crap ton. Anyhow, Steve randomly remembering stuff he should have did, but didn't. So... Oil draining, oil and cylinder, mag off, and then just put a little bit of gas in it and just go from there. If the gas runs out the bottom, I'll have to fix it. If it doesn't, try and get it to run. So here we go. Should be entertaining as always. Mm -hmm. The advanced casting bolts, uh, bolt holes are stripped in this. Three of them kind of hold the fourth one, this bottom bottom one on this side. There is no threads. The one on the other side on the bottom that actually holds halfway decent is actually has a spot broken out on the inside. So I want to see how how this thing runs. If it runs decent, we'll switch to advanced casting. If it doesn't run decent, uh, it's probably going to get chipped on the road regardless either direction. But Put another advanced casting on it, and then it'll make it more usable to somebody. Not everybody has advanced castings laying around like I do, yo. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, guys. So I uh, cleaned the points and adjusted the timing here. I'll, I'll wheel this baby around so I can show you it does spark. I totally forgot to make a video until put it back on the tractor. See if I can watch, turn the crank at the same time, and make sure you guys see it. Yep. So it's got a nice, nice bright blue spark. It's not even orange or anything. I mean, it's nice. Uh, motor's pretty... Motor looks like it was overhauled recently. Looked like it was running rich, maybe. That's why it had a lot of carbon built up. So carb probably needs messed with kind of gonna be my assumption I don't know that I ever looked in the gas tank wait well definitely not because hey oh yeah no okay gonna have to get the channel locks out and look in that baby uh, but right now I'm gonna put the cylinder head back on it tighten down the head bolts uh, put the spark plug wire back on the spark plug it's in the head and yeah, I gotta fill it with oil. I gotta change the oil filter on this. I wasn't going to, but you know, I have the oil drained and stuff. Might as well put a fresh filter on it and catch all any catch any and all the junk that comes up through there. Because uh, we know there's water in the sump, so very well, first couple times you spin it over, it'll be pushing water. So maybe I ought to just spin it over now without anything in it. And clear it out. I don't have any oil in it though. I don't want to do it a whole lot. Yeah, if I do it real slow, it'll be okay. Anyhow, it's the kind of conversation I have, conversations I have with myself when I'm working on something. The throttle cable is on the outside here, which is which is just great. So that'd be a good one. Mowing in the woods to take that baby off in about a heartbeat. Uh. Throttle cable appears like it's stuck wherever it's at, so I am sure choke cable is also stuck. 
I think the only thing... Oh no, it's not stuck there on the end. It may be moving. It is. Moving a little bit anyhow, so... Start putting some blaster in that baby, it'll come back. And oil, and like I talked about, put the drain plug back in it first, obviously. That'd be kind of handy. Uh, and then we'll bring it back and just dump a little bit of gas in once I get the cap off air and just see what we got to work with. All we can do, right? Right. Alright, be back with you guys in a few. So guys, since last night here, I uh, flushed the tank out, took the sediment bowl off, cleaned it out. It's still, still crappy looking in there, but I'm not getting any sort of sludge out of it. Until it's nice clean gla gas, you can see the rust I was getting out of it beforehand. So, figured I'd just put some fuel in it and just let it run through there. Nice thing is this has the sediment bowl on it, so it'll catch any sort of heavy stuff like that. But you can see there's a little bit of it in the bowl there. Not, not a terrible amount, but it is in there. So there's the amount of crap I've got out of there. I might take the bowl off again and clean it out, but for right now we just want to see if it'll it'll run. And see if it's worth me switching the advanced casting on. Let's see if the fuel actually shuts off. It should. I have no idea what this carb is going to be like. And the fuel does shut off. Yep. Shut off even works. Nice. So. I'm going to take the air cleaner hose off here. I'm going to... Pull the bottom drain plug out and then I'll hook the fuel line up and just flush some fuel through it and see what the drain plug looks like and see what kind of stuff we get out of here. And that'll kind of make a decision on whether I need to pull the carb or not and then I'll monkey with this throttle cable a little bit more. If I get this throttle cable to function then I can run this thing a smidge and just see what it see what it does or doesn't do. Because for all I know I'm not going to start this up and it might the oil pump might not work, you know, who knows. Because the motor looked like it was rebuilt. And the mag has a, a tag on it, which I can't really read, but you guys can see the tape on it. So that probably said something like good or rebuilt and had a date. So we'll run through this and see what we get. So right now I'm kind of just uh, abandoning the 52. It's just so rusty and so far, so far gone, like I have to... Even the the spray holes for the piston pin are, are rusted shut up top here, so that has me kind of worried about that motor to even monkey with it right at the moment. So I'm not saying it's totally done, but I'm gonna concentrate on some other things right now. So anyhow, here we go. And it's Sunday, so tonight I'll sit down and edit videos and I have a whole cluster cluster truck of videos. I've recorded half of one project here, half of another project over there, switched projects halfway through. It's going to be a, a real cluster truck to edit. And so. so anyhow, here we go. I'm going to hook the line up, take the plug out, see what we get. Mm -hmm. So guys, as you can see, the fuel is at least running out the bottom. I mean, all I literally did was... Take the plug out. I took the plug out first and then uh, open that up. So I guess the next step is I'll put the plug back in and we'll see if the the float leaks through. Because so I'm not seeing anything real scary. I mean, it's not all full of sludge or anything. I've seen way worse. It just looks like a carb that's been sitting for a little while. The nice thing was the fuel shutoff was off, so all the water that was in the tank stayed in the tank. So I think that saved the carb. Because a lot of times these cast iron carbs, they get water in them, they freeze and they break. And then they're junk. So I've run into that a half dozen times. So anyhow, I'm going to put this plug in here and see if it starts running out the air cleaner. I do have the, the tube off. I just didn't pull it off the filter side. So here you go. You guys want to watch? It's probably better off. i got a cut on my right hand anyhow I'm holding the camera with. Uh, come on. There you go. All 
always when there's fluids running out at you, it's harder to start. So obviously, it's not cranked down tight, so it'll probably drip. But what I want to look for is does it start running out the carb over here? Like the float's stuck. One second, I gotta switch just a second. I'm not seeing anything as of yet, so I think we're okay there. All we can do is just try starting it and see what happens. You know, I may have to clean the carb. Hard to say. I would I would put money on at least having to run the jets in and out, but you never know. Sometimes with these they ran they run really good without cleaning them. Sometimes they don't. Just kind of luck of the draw. So, all right, let me see if I can't get this throttle cable semi-functioning because you can see the the shaft moves freely, but the cable has it stuck wherever it's at, which I'm gonna say is every bit of half the three-quarter throttle, and I don't want it starting like that. I would much rather have it idle. So, okay, here we go. See what I can get accomplished here. I got to tighten that plug back up. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll bring you guys back for the first uh, first attempt at start. Just see what it does, see if it smokes me out of the shop here today or not. Anything's possible. It should smoke a little bit. I put a little bit of hydraulic oil in it. Alright, so here's what I done did done. I decided for right now, I just slid the throttle cable back in the holder up here. And hold the throttle back a lot closer to idle and the choke does work. Kind of into the air cleaner tube right now, but it does work. I want to leave that off for starting because, uh, you know, a little bit of carb cleaner, choke action. Probably give her the spray and just see what she runs like. But, uh, yeah, pretty much we're ready to try this thing here. I might turn it over a little bit by hand a couple times, just um, push a little bit of oil up through it, perhaps. And then uh, I'll get the strap out and we'll. Try and crank her up, see what happens. Well, here we go. Alrighty guys, so here's what I know. The exhaust valve on this is leaking a little bit. Um, so I don't know that it's going to run. There's, it potentially could, but I think what I'm going to do is to sway my odds a little bit. I'll throw some carb cleaner in it. And just see what it does. If I had a battery in the electric start cart, you could probably spin it up real easy, but I don't right at this moment. Now that it just rolled back. Still in frame, it's probably actually a little bit better there. So I think what I'm gonna do for at the moment. I should have been doing this off camera, but I'm going to take, uh, this has a choke return spring on it right now. Okay. Choke return spring's off. That'll just keep the choke on and won't be trying to return. she will fire out the exhaust and it's pointed towards the tire and not in my face so that's a plus so you guys ready see what happens here hopefully it doesn't smoke like a train I don't have the exhaust fan on so it's in I did unstick the shifters too by the way I believe it's in neutral so here we go Might have to bump the throttle up, because it did try there. Actually sounds like it's choking off. 
to get it to sit and run for a little while, if there's any crap in the exhaust valve, it'll, it'll knock it out if it's stuck in carbon or something. Choke. We're gonna have to adjust the carb, like I said. Bump the the throttle up just a little bit more. Keep the carb cleaner handy so I can feed her. So get it going. Now it's acting like it's flooded. Maybe, I don't know. It's not flooded, it probably would have kicked back there when I spun it over. I never really did look at this spark plug. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's about coming up to fire on the impulse, so we'll crank her, crank her back. You guys see any better? Doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to end up using an electric start card or belt here. That's what I'm getting. It's firing once or twice and it shuts off. Points, perhaps? I don't know. Didn't know any better. You'd think it was flooding. what it sounds like. Yeah, bump that throttle back up. That's up a good bit now.
The only thing I don't like. Exhaust is pointed right at the kill button. <laughs> I just saw a spider run over there. I don't know if you guys did. But uh, yeah, it runs and works pretty good. It's got awesome oil pressure. The spider is very pissed right now. Look at him. You guys see him? I don't know where he went now. But, but it runs good. It's definitely worth... Uh, putting another advanced casting on because I don't know if you guys saw but when I revved it up the bolts the top two bolts actually pulled out of the threads so that was why I hurried up and threw the PTO back out real quick so with an advanced casting on it this thing would be a decent running tractor really it runs pretty decent I it was probably about out of gas here I only put whenever I do test drives I only put enough in uh, or test runs to run them like five minutes yeah, it's about out of gas. So. But runs pretty decent. Idled okay. So, after lunch here, I guess we'll kind of dial her in and I'll go look for an advanced casting to swap on this. Because really, it's not that bad of a job. I have PTO gear. It'd be nice if I could find one that had a dec uh, decent PTO shifter on it because this one is. <laughs> is botched basically it's it's set up for a remote PTO and somebody it, it probably broke it and just added on that lever it works but it actually has to spin 180 back so the handle needs to be like side to side so close but not quite the cigar yet anyhow later gentlemen the 59 li lives again anybody want it it could be yours does run now price went up oil pressure gauge is bad what are you going to do? Alrighty guys, so I got the 59 advanced casting off here to change the advanced casting. And figured I'd check the clutch cone out while I was in here and it looks almost... I wouldn't say brand new, but you can tell it's sat for a while. It's got some dark spots to it, but... Everything looks pretty good, so... I found an advanced casting, which was the one I took off the 53L. And it's the right... Uh, 6 bolt instead of 8 bolt advanced casting so slap that baby on there the only thing wrong with it is it's primer gray which you know whatever is all I can say uh, the only noticeable noteworthy thing I found while taking it apart is there is no dog gear or no trunnion block in the dog gear uh, it's not laying in the bottom of the advanced casting you guys can see it's got grease all slung up in it from running the brush hog that had grease on it from the uh, retrofit kit. So, yeah, I have to dig up a trunnion block when I put this thing back in. I need a whole PTO mechanism, so. Start looking here. Just going to check my parts transmissions in my drawer first. Anyhow, I can put this all back together and worry about the PTO when advanced casting is back on. So, here we go. Show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, I have a feeling when it takes longer to actually clean it than it does to install it. But the dog gear and the PTO is set up on there, it's stock and works. I'm sorry for turning you guys sideways, but... Everything works, so... Bolt the motor back on and maybe I'll throw the other chain on the other side. And maybe we'll go out and try and run this thing for a little bit. Just see what it does. It's pretty windy out today though, so well, at least I'll make my lap around the barn. I gotta move the uh, the other, or at least one of the other two out so I can get back out of here. Yeah, I really gotta... Well, summertime's coming here, so... <laughs> a lot of times I put things in here a long ways and I can get two rows of stuff, two more riders. Never realized how echoey it was back here with the, uh, the door shut. Echo! Yep. So, anyhow. Get that done, I'll bring you guys back. At least could I take a picture now. Mm -hmm.